Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a quick video on the Phillies Rule 5 selection of Matt Selinger, who looks like he could be a solid pickup for the bullpen, obviously, albeit when you make a Rule 5 selection, you can't send those guys down. Otherwise, you have to offer them back to the team. So it looks like he's going to be definitely in the plans for Dave Dombrowski, Joe Girardi, um, in order to have him in the bullpen. So we'll have to see what he's able to do. Um... Thus far in his career, it's been a little bit inconsistent for him as a whole. Um, when it comes to um, last season, he struggled in 2019, uh, did not pitch all of the 2020 COVID season, and then this year came back and actually pitched really well, and that was at the double A level after always pitching at the single A level or high A level prior to that. Uh, he has always, other than in his first year, um, in the NCAA, when he was over there, he started some games. He has always in the pros pitched out of the bullpen. So this guy looks like someone that's more of a control guy, more like a right-sided Ken Emanuel, the guy that we claim that actually has the control. Now it's just about if he can be efficient enough in the strike zone and picking his spots to be a steady major league pitcher from the left side as a southpaw. Uh, this guy kind of reminds me when I was reading up on him and watching some stuff um, about him from the right side, because he just tries to hit the strike zone, tries to let the fielders get the out, but he did have a pretty good, um, throughout his career, his K rate is not bad, um, when you look at his, let's pick it up, uh, here, when you look at his strikeouts, he has 244 strikeouts in only 166.2 innings pitch, so even for being a low 90s guy, with a good off-speed pitch, he's a guy that still is able to find a way to get the strikeouts because, obviously, we've seen other guys do this in their career, like Ranger Suarez last year. Just found the way to locate his pitches to get the outs and get the punch out. You don't have to have the fire blow by him stuff if you can just perfectly locate your pitches. So, hopefully, someone uh, like Cylinder will be somebody that can locate the pitches really well for the Phillies, use that breaking ball he has really well, and use that low 90s fastball that can sink a little bit to be able to be an effective pitcher in Citizens Bank Park. Because the Phillies obviously made some pitching pickups, but Nelson um, is a wild card, like I talked about in the video, because of his control. It's nice to have someone like Cylinder, who's more like Ken Emanuel, who I believe those guys have the best shot to potentially crack the bullpen uh, because they have the control already and they have good stuff that they can just move around the strike zone where the other guys have great stuff with great spin for the most part, but they need to be able to keep it in the strike zone, similar to Jose Alvarado. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has just been a quick video on Matt Sellinger getting picked up in the Rule 5 draft, adding more bullpen depth to the team as Dave Dombrowski even mid-lockout make some good moves, obviously getting Darium Gutierrez that I did a video on before, and I'm going to link at the end of this if you want to check it out, and now getting Matt Selinger in the Rule 5 draft. So keep doing your thing, Phillies. Hopefully this lockout can end sooner rather than later so we can all get back to the business of baseball. Peace out, everybody.